In the previous video, part 27, I was busy working on the frame rods. In this video, I complete the final assembly of the main frame and its associated rods. When you look at a photograph of the front rod, it comes to a position where it bends towards a rivet. Here's a sketch of what I'm trying to achieve. I've made up a jig to bend the rod to the correct place. Okay, I'll just have a quick look, see what it looks like. It's going to be about there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I've made a small square block to fit to the end of the rod. So when you look at the photographs again, um, there are some uh, little bridging plates at the bottom of the horn plates and these are held in place by a bolt, uh, a square headed bolt that goes through the, the rod. So I've drilled the rods in the end here to take the uh, square headed bolts and I've made some little bolts as well. So I'm going to lock tight these in place and fit that in, polish side up get the orientation right, we'll give that time to set so I'll stick those in there So I'm just using little pieces of uh, welding wood and I've cut the length to form the rivets. I'm just putting a very shallow countersink in. The uh, reason being is I'm going to lock tight these in. So a dab of Loctite.
Originally I had intended to rivet the corner joints but for maximum rigidity I've decided to silver solder them. So this is my setup for silver soldering the corners or the corner joints at the rear of the loco. So it's sitting on the surface plate. It's got a heavy weight keeping it down. I've got the surface plate rested on these fire bricks to keep them in place and I've got it surrounded by fire bricks keep the heat in and keep the heat away from the surface table so I'm ready to go on this corner here Just give it a bit of a wire brush to clean all the scale off, and it looks like it's uh, okay. Looks like we've got silver solder everywhere we need it, plus a few other places where it's spilled over. I think that'll be a sound joint. Okay, so I'll do the front end just to see.